Hello and welcome back to Totally Forkable. Today I'm going to be discussing vegan winter fashion. The fashion industry in general relies pretty heavily on animal materials, whether it's leather, suede, wool, fur, down, etc. The list goes on. And I think a lot of winter clothing, especially outerwear, rely even more heavily on those animal materials. It's certainly not widespread knowledge. I don't think that the down and wool industries are cruel to the animals. I definitely recommend that you just do some googling and there are some great articles that will sort of explain it. Over the last few years I've kind of acquired some pieces. I certainly didn't just like go out and buy it all at once because a lot of these items are more pricey um, as winter items usually are. And I'm not saying like, hey, you should get rid of all of your winter items and just buy all new ones because I don't think that's very sustainable. I don't think it's affordable. <laughs> but I wanted to make this video because I know before I bought all of these items, I did a lot of research and it took me a while to find things that were uh, the style that I liked and warm enough and the right size and all of that. So if you are someone that has been looking to update your wardrobe and kind of add in some more cruelty-free pieces, hopefully some of these items will give you some ideas, introduce you maybe to some brands that you didn't know about, and maybe inspire you to have your next purchase be cruelty-free. So this is the Divided Sky jacket from Patagonia. It is a fleece jacket. I had been wanting a fleece for a while and I had always liked the look of Patagonia fleeces. And while I was sort of looking and browsing about a year ago, I saw an article about Patagonia and how they had donated their $10 million corporate tax cut to environmental causes. So I saw that and I was like, wow, that's, that's an incredible company and you don't really hear about corporations not being greedy that often. And then I also found out that Patagonia has been part of the 1% for the planet pledge since 1985, which means that every year they donate 1% of their total gross sales to environmental causes. All of their fleeces are made out of recycled polyester. They always have been. What I like about this is it doesn't just look like a super casual fleece. It has a little bit more style to it. On the sleeves, you have these buttons and there's actually two buttons so you can adjust the size of the sleeves. And then on the side here, you also have um, these two buttons so you can go to the tighter button if you want like a little bit more of a fitted look or you can go to the looser button if you just want more of a boxy look. It is very, very comfortable. And what I wanted to mention about that fleece because it is made with um, a polyester material, has the potential to shed microplastics into our waterways. So like when you're washing something, it could shed tiny little pieces of plastic, gets into the rivers, streams, into the oceans, and it really messes up the environment. This isn't a fashion item, but I think it's worth talking about while we are talking about some of these items. This is called the Guppy Friend washing bag. If you're washing an item that has that is derived from a plastic material, you can put it in here and just zip it up and then you wash it in here. And then when you're done washing it, you take it out and the microplastics gather at the seam up here so you can remove them. This bag is about $30. It's made by an organization called Stop Micro Waste. It was started by a group of surfers and nature lovers. It was actually started through a Kickstarter campaign, which I think is cool. The profits from the sale of the Guppy Friend washing bag go to Stop Micro Waste and the Stop Plastic Academy to raise awareness about microplastic pollution and to edu educate students, adults, and industry partners about the problem. So you can buy this from the um, you just type in Guppy Friend. They have their own website. Uh, I think Patagonia also sells these and Reformation also sells these. I think it's totally worth it. Um, anything we can do to prevent that plastic pollution, I'm all for it. And the next vegan winter item is this Unreal Fur coat. So this is a faux fur coat. I had been wanting a nice faux fur coat for a while and I had heard about this company Unreal Fur. Their jackets are beautiful. They're very expensive. I actually ended up seeing it on sale last year at ASOS. So originally this coat was like somewhere north of $300 and then 
I got it on ASOS on sale for like 130. It is kind of like a very unique, somewhat of a loud pattern and I really don't like polka dots, but for some reason, the like color and the size of these, um, I mean, it's called the bubbles coat. So I feel like it's more like bubbles than dots. I did look on the Unreal Fur website and they actually don't make this coat anymore, but I did find the bubbles coat on Rent the Runway. It's not the long version, it's the shorter version. So it's more of like a jacket, I guess, than a coat. So if you are interested in wearing this to like a holiday party or something fun like that, um, I recommend checking it out. I will put the link to the Rent the Runway listing below in the description. And I will put links to everything below, FYI. Okay, next up, this is not a coat. These are the Aspen Hikers from Bava Studio in the color Ivory. I got these boots a little over a year ago. I had been like seriously eyeing them the winter before. I didn't own a pair of vegan winter boots and I really wanted to get like a high quality pair. So basically you have this like fleecy area out here. Um, on the inside, there are these, um, I think she calls them like a Sherpa lining. Um, like insole thing. So the sole that it comes with is just like a cork sole and then you can put the fleece inserts inside to make them warmer. I've never taken the fleece inserts out because I pretty much only wear these like when it's cold out and I want the fleece inserts in there anyway. Um, it also came with two different uh, pairs of laces. So it came with this more like golden brown one and then it also came with more of like a white lace that matches the boot more. It laces up almost like figure skates, which I think is cute. Overall, these are super high quality. They're super comfortable. They're very warm. They've got the traction on the bottom. I wouldn't wear these on like a super muddy winter day because I don't want them to get super dirty. So these also come in a couple other colors, black and tan. I got these in a size 38. It's European sizing, which if you're a half size like me is really frustrating, but I am like a true seven and a half. I emailed her and asked her if she recommended I size up or down and she recommended sizing up so that you can put the inserts in and so that you can wear thicker socks and whatever, which just makes sense, I guess, for a winter boot. So yeah, that's these boots. And then I did want to mention just to be completely transparent and I think this is something that a lot of people can relate to. I also still have a pair of Uggs that I got as a gift probably about nine years ago. And they're they're not like the traditional looking Uggs. They have like a waterproof part on them. And you know, I feel torn because I am so horrified by the idea of like boots made out of sheepskin and I would never, ever, ever, ever give that company like one penny <laughs> for the rest of my life. But I had them, they were still in good condition. I didn't wanna just get rid of them. I never wear them in public. I never take photos in them because of course I don't wanna like show them off or have anyone see them and be like, oh, those are cute. Like, where'd you get those? Um, but I will still wear them for like snow shoveling and like when I went to visit the uh, farm sanctuary recently, I wore them there. Um, they're just kind of like my mucking around boots. I don't really care if they get dirty. However, recently I um, have been considering getting some different boots that I can use for that purpose that are vegan and um, my friends at JP Farm Sanctuary recommended this brand to me of these kind of like work boots that are rubber and they're also insulated so they're super super warm like even warmer than my Uggs and I think I'm going to be getting a pair of those so I'll link those down below I'll also link a couple of other vegan winter boot options that are not as expensive as those Baba boots so that should give you some options if you're thinking about getting a different pair of winter boots but again like I said earlier I don't think you need to like rush out to completely change your wardrobe However, with things like Uggs, things like a Canada Goose coat, when you wear them, you really are advertising for that brand because they're so recognizable. Everybody knows like the telltale signs of like, oh, those are Uggs or like, that's a Canada Goose coat. It's got the circle on it or whatever. I try to be careful with what I'm representing in public. You can choose to continue wearing your non-vegan items or not wearing them, um, but that's just kind of my mentality with it is, do I want to advertise for a company that pretty much all of what they make <laughs> is causing animals harm and discomfort and death <laughs> and pain? 
and all the horrible things. Okay, next. This is like my heavy duty winter coat. This is my third winter with this coat. It is the Helly Hansen Bloom Waterproof Parka. I just looked at their website and it looks like they've changed the name of it, but it, I, it, I think it's the exact same coat. They are now calling it the Bloom Puffy Parka as opposed to the Bloom Waterproof Parka. It's got these cute elastic at the end sleeves. Um, it's got the faux fur hood. Um, the hood is detachable and then you can also take off the faux fur trim if you don't like that. Couple things with this coat that I'm not the most crazy about. The sleeves are, they're a little short and they're a little tight sometimes. Like if I'm reaching forward, like it, it feels a little tight. That's really not something that like bothers me on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just something I thought I'd mention. And this might just be the case with all winter coats, but because of where this part falls, hits my face, I feel like the, this top part, like the collar of the coat, just gets makeup on it all the time. And so it just, I, I like tried to wash it off a little, but you can still see it. Like, it's just, it's just a little annoying. Uh, when I put it in the wash, it does come out, so that's fine, but I don't wash it that often. I try not to. A couple little things, but overall I still love it and I would still recommend it. So um, a couple other brands just off the top of my head that are all vegan outerwear companies. Wuxley Movement, Noise Original, Save the Duck, those are, those are like the top three that I would recommend. So yeah, I will link those ones below for you guys, as well as link to this coat. And lastly, speaking of coats, this is my newest purchase, Matt and Nat EV Coat in Camel. So I have known about Matt and Nat for a while. Obviously they've been around for a really long time. I've always known them as a vegan bag company. I think this might be the first year that they're doing outerwear. I could be wrong, but I definitely had never heard of them as an outerwear company before. I wanted to get a pea coat, um, but most pea coats are made out of wool. I saw this coat and I really loved it. Saw on the website that it said it was made out of recycled polyester. I originally got this in a size small and the small, was really big on me. I debated keeping it, but every time I looked at it, I'm like, it just looks huge. I sent it back for an extra small, and the extra small fits a lot better. As you can see, it kind of like fits perfectly, but I can't really layer anything underneath. <laughs> so now it's like, the small was like definitely too big. The extra small is like, leaves no room for layering. So I really like the style of it. It's got the wrap around tie, so you could wear it closed, which kind of gives it look a little bit more of a trench coat look. You could also tie the ties behind your back. Again, loved that I was supporting an all vegan company. So yeah, I have a feeling I will be wearing this coat a lot this winter. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Hope it gave you some ideas, possibly for future purchases when you are ready to purchase, if you are ready to purchase. It can be a tough transition, and if I could help any of you make that transition, that would make me happy. So yeah, if you have any questions on any of the items that I showed, let me know. And again, all the links for the items will be in the description. Subscribe to Totally Forkable for more content like this, vegan fashion, low waste, vegan travel, delicious vegan food. I'm covering it all. Enjoy your holidays, and I will see you again soon. Bye.